So hey, if you've been following me on my website, uh, on my WordPress blog, uh, you've known that for the past six months or so, I've been working on a trading bot, uh, an algorithm uh, trading bot. And I, I decided to do it in C Sharp because, you know, I'm a .NET guy, I'm C Sharp, I've been using it for many years, uh, you know, VB before that, Fox Pro before then, so, um, you know, kind of showing my age a little bit, I guess. Um, you know, you can use Python and a lot of people do, and I'm actually using a bit of Python to get the initial tokens in my code. Uh, but then with the refresh tokens for TD Ameritrade and stuff like that, I actually use C Sharp code to do that. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is let's, let's talk about um, the trading hours and holidays and how to take care of that. Okay. So uh, just to give you an idea, you know, I'll put this as part of our, each video. Um, you know, this right here is my screen that I'm using, um, my form that I designed for my trading bot. Okay. Now, I could have done this as a, a strictly command line interface, no GUI whatsoever. But, you know, I like, I'm a visual guy. I like to see things. Um, you know, if it doesn't look good to me, then I really don't want to use it as much. Um, and I know that's probably pet petty, but hey, oh well. So anyways, what we're going to talk to about today is, you know, the the, the hourly uh, or the holiday sessions, okay? And <laughs> if you hear my dog, just he's playing with the cat. Um, so let's jump into this. Let's pull it up on my DLL. So... You know, one of the things I'm doing is I'm coming in here and uh, as the bots run throughout the day, it's checking to see at the beginning of the day, um, is this a trading day or is it a holiday? You know, and basically I use the New York Stock Exchange and I use the NASDAQ. Uh, those are the two primary markets that I, I coded for. I didn't code for any anything else because most of the ticker symbols that I trade are going to be on one of those two exchanges. Um so as you can see in here, you know, I, I'm not trading uh, the first 20 minutes of the day or first 10 minutes of the day, and I'm not trading the last 30 minutes of the market uh, day. So in, I'm on central time. So these are on central. Uh, I do have plans to make this to where, it, let's say that I'm traveling, I'm, I'm out in Seattle for a week uh, and I'm leaving this running at the hotel or whatever I'm doing, that this will automatically get the get the correct time zone i'm doing it other places i just didn't do it here um because i want to get this wired up pretty quickly so one of the things i'm doing is you know i'm coming through here and i've got a list of holidays that are um constants or methods over in uh, my models object which i'll show you here in that in just a minute okay but these method infos right here these are going to go through what i'm about to show you okay these are going to go through all these different holidays that I've got set up as a public class. Okay. Now, New Year's Day, it's always going to fall on the first of the year. Okay. So that's an easy one, you know, that I can have as a, as a, a public static property. But a New Year's Day observed, you know, that's always the following Monday um, after New Year's Day. So New Year's Day falls to the weekend, the following Monday, market's closed, okay? So this year, I believe it was the fourth it was closed, or it was the third it was closed. Um, you know, then I've got MLK Day in here, and then Washington Day. Uh, and as you go through here, you can add all these different holidays uh, or days you want to check for, um, like Juneteenth, Juneteenth Day. The, you know, this is a new one that came out. Um, so I went ahead and added that one in there, okay? Um, and as I go through, you, you're going to see all of these, okay? All right. So now what I'm doing is because a lot of these fall on the nth day of the month, uh, I created a function. Um, and I wanted to see, and here, I'll just pull this up. You know, I wanted to find whatever that nth day of that month was that fell on that week, whatever, and return that day, okay? Um, return that date time back to the function. The same thing with last day of the month. You know, it's it's a simple thing to do, but people don't think about it all the time. You know, you got leap years involved, stuff like this. So this accounts for leap year uh, and will return the last day of the month, no matter whether so we're 28th, 29th, whether it's, you know, May 31st, whatever it be, okay? So now when I come back over to here on, on my trading hours function, you know, it's looking for that, 
and it's comparing today's date with that date time from whatever that holiday function is. And does it meet any of, does today's date meet any of those holidays? And if so, okay, it's a trading holiday. I don't have to check the market. So like if I got a bot that's checking the market every minute looking for entries and it's a holiday, that's just a waste of, that's just a waste of processing power. I'm adding log lines. I don't need to do that. Um, I can now just change it to, okay, it's a holiday. I don't need to check it every minute. Maybe I check it every four hours because really, I mean, not much is going to change. Um, but I still want it to process overnight. Uh, it's overnight functions, what it's doing with cleaning up code or whatever else and checking uh, my brokerage account. Uh, but I also want it to be ready for the next morning to re-enable trading um, because the next day is not usually not a holiday. So uh, that's why I don't want to disable it or turn it off altogether, but I will change that interview, that timer, uh, inter interval of the timer checking uh, the market. Okay. So anyways, that's it for that. Anyways, if you hit the like button below, if you like the video, definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it. That way you get a notice every time I release a new video. But hey, thank you for watching and good luck with your trades.